Hello, my name is Devin Gupta, and I am a student at Dr. Brian Wong's LEAP Research Laboratory at University of California, Irvine. Dr. Wong is a prominent member of UCI's Bridge Ventilator Consortium, which works to address shortages of personal protective equipment, or PBE, across the country. As a response to the recent COVID-19 or coronavirus outbreak, myself and another student, Ms. Ellen Wong, have developed an affordable PAPR and completed early stage development feasibility. This PAPR device is able to be constructed at a person's own residence or facility. This is due to the use of commercial parts to create the PAPR and the use of 3D printed jigs, which can be found in the Bridge Ventilator Consortium's website. Through the coronavirus outbreak, healthcare workers around the world have found that sufficient face covering is essential to mitigate the spread and infection rate of the virus. Currently, most Americans use disposable or washable facial coverings to maintain the necessary resulting public hygiene. However, most commercially available and widely used options, such as N95 masks, have their limitations. N95 masks are in short supply due to the recent outbreak, and their usage time is limited to 8 to 12 hours. Thus, Ms. Ellen Wong and myself worked to rectify this problem by creating a model of a PAPR mask that could be easily created by the general public using basic supplies. We used a full face snorkel mask and connected to the rest of the ventilator system using 3D printed jigs. Tubing was added with a portable fan in order to make breathing easier for the user. An airway breathing filter was affixed to the fan so as to limit bacteria and viruses from coming through the mask. These parts were connected using 3D printed models. A large snorkel mask was chosen based on its coverage of the entire face, and the filter, tubing, and portable fan were selected due to its ease of acquisition. The jigs were printed with SLS resin-based 3D printer, and the total cost of the mask came out to be $43. Assembly of the device required detaching the snorkel from the snorkel fitting and affixing the tubing onto that fitting connected by the 3D printed jig. The snorkel fitting includes two baffles that differentiate the airflow into and out of the snorkel mask, with the 3D printed attachment being fixed to the inner ring. One end of the tubing was then attached to the end of the 3D printed attachment, with the other end of the tubing being connected to the end of the viral filter. The filter was then connected to the portable fan using the other 3D printed jig. These full face snorkel masks could serve as surrogates for commercial masks. The snorkel mask itself is easy to wash and can be reused, although the filter should be replaced every 24 hours of use according to the manufacturer. Nonetheless, the filter has twice the length of safe usage than an N95 mask, which can only be worn up to 12 hours before it needs to be replaced. The filters are also easy to replace, as it only requires a quick detachment of it from the 3D printed jig and fitting a new one back into the system. Users of the mask have also reported on the ease of use of the mask. The snorkel mask is tested on continuous usage without the user feeling discomfort. The results found that the users were able to wear the mask without any problems for up to three hours. The external fan added to the mask was used to produce sufficient positive pressure as the user is wearing the mask to create a comfortable environment with sufficient ventilation. The fan itself is compact and lightweight, enabling portable use. Development of these masks is also not limited to the specific snorkel mask used in the project. A different commercially available snorkel mask could be used by modifying the 3D printed model in order to accommodate their differences, but the remaining assembly remains the same. Please see the links on the Bridge Ventilator Consortium website to find the STL files for the 3D printed jigs. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments on this project and product, please feel free to email us. Our emails can be found on the Bridge Ventilator Consortium website. Have a great day.